Okay, time to do a little bit of epic fantasy stuff. Hey everyone, Brent Florica here, and welcome back to Sketch with B. In this episode, I'm going to finish off a piece that I started by hand in my sketchbook with some digital coloring. This piece started out as just a way to break out of artist block from time to time when I couldn't figure out what to draw. I would go back to this page in my sketchbook and just add to this little floating workshop in the clouds. And by the time I finished it, while I did like the original just ink sketch, and I'll bring it up here so you can check that out, I liked it, but I felt like, you know what, I've got all these digital tools and stuff, and I can make this so much more dramatic, so much more epic. And so, you know, I did that because I couldn't resist. So I thought I'd make a video of it because I'm using Clip Studio Paint now, and that's sort of a new thing for me. More on that in future videos, why I made the switch. But uh, there's a lot of new tools and stuff that I've been really getting excited about, especially the the different brushes for like digital painting and uh, I've been playing around with that and, and really enjoying it and I put that to good use on this one for sure uh, but let me know what you think of it in the comments below and leave a like if you feel so inclined uh, enjoy this process and I'll, I'll see you on the other side this piece started out as a way to pass the time but as I sunk my teeth into it I began to be transformed into another world. I was inspired by my sister Nikki's epic fantasy novel, Son of Silver Skies, which I'm reading a draft of right now. So my head was filled with cloudscapes and vast kingdoms. I originally thought to color this piece as if it were daytime so the viewer would be able to get the full detailed view of this structure. But then my thought process shifted. As I drew, I began thinking about characters using this workshop, what they did, who they were, how they got there. And I decided I wanted it to be kept more enigmatic, more mysterious. I abandoned the daylight and went for a very ethereal full moon, lining the clouds with the radiant touch of light. The workshop would then be immersed in shadow. I imagined myself approaching in a cloud ship for the first time, looking with awe upon this weathered structure, straining to get a clear glimpse of its entirety, wondering who or what I would find there. I felt the cold breeze on my face, and I heard the groans of the timbers as they shifted and creaked. I could smell the aging planks, the moss and mold and rot. I wandered the steps from the front stoop to the workshop and beyond it to the observatory platform where I could gaze out into the black vastness of the night sky. It's a pure place, detached from the world below and yet in some ways able to see it more clearly. A place of wisdom and discovery. See, that's why I love creating art and telling stories with even a single image. I love creating a feeling in the viewer. And that's where I'd like to grow most in my art journey this year. Thus far, I've done a lot of characters, which has been great. But as I grow, I want to start placing those characters into more fleshed out environments to tell a more complete story. To really become immersed into their world. I hope that appeals to you. And if it does, I think you'll enjoy the journey ahead on Sketchbook B. I so appreciate you spending some time with me today. I hope you enjoyed our journey to the skies.
Thanks so much for joining me at Sketch with B. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please consider leaving a like or a comment or maybe sharing this video or even subscribing to the channel if you feel so inclined. I certainly appreciate the support and the help to uh, grow this channel more and uh, I've been really grateful for all the support, especially recently um, from those who have become new subscribers. Thank you very much to all of you. And uh, yeah, I uh, look forward to the next video that's coming on the channel. I, uh, I hope you enjoy it too. It's going to be something new that I haven't really attempted before and uh, I'm really excited about it so I hope that you enjoy the results of it as much as I enjoy the, uh, the process of putting it together. So uh, we'll see but until then take care and we'll see you next time.